fashions trainer in Australia who sells craft supplies, so stamps, ink, paper, all the things for your stamping, card making and home decor needs. So today I'm here to share with you hi and tell me how my connection is please I'm going to have a look at it so um, this card is using the sailing home stamp set and using the sea and sand paper good morning or good afternoon miss k i am a few minutes late so no i seem to be okay on facebook so that's good and you're on youtube k any issues just give me a shout out and i'll see if i can work things out so um the sailing home stamp set is this one this has been around for a little while hello annette thank you so much for joining this stamp set's been around for a little while and i oh good thank you k and I um, wanted to pair it with the sea and sand paper. Now, I didn't get the stamp set to go, hello, Kathy. Um, I didn't get the stamp set to go with the sea and sand paper. This is just the texture side of the paper. I'll show you a bit more um, of the sea themed other side. Um, I haven't used those sides in the card I'll show you today, um, but it does pair very, very well. So Sailing Home stamp set is available now, as is the sea and sand paper. And the Sailing Home stamp set isn't going anywhere with our new annual catalogue that gets released next week. Now, this is the card that we will be making. I'll be making five of them. Hello, Rita. Thank you for joining. Um, so we'll be making this card together quite um, these two pieces I have set up in my Stamparatus. So they should be nice and quick and then just some very simple stamping. Um, two colours, one pack of paper, one stamp set. I am very well. Ah, thank you, Kathy. Thank you. It was, I was just trying to think of something to do um, with the paper. And I went, I've got sea themed, boat themed stamp sets. So let's pair them together. And this is what I came up with. I hope you are well, Carol. So the paper we're using... All my customers got the blue, well, majority of my customers got the blue bottomed paper. Um, so this is, it's an ombre, well, it's an ombre style, but one colour going into another. So watercolour style um, paper. Hey, Inga, haven't seen you in a while. Um, so I've used that and there are actually two different patterns so this small has like has had water droplets dropped on it and it's printed ready to go so if you're not really good with blending or water coloring we have paper that's ready to go and looks as though you've spent forever on the backgrounds but no it's just a piece of pattern paper and we're treating it simply with some stamping and some die cuts and you've got a card that someone's going to go, oh, that's really fancy. Not really that fancy because Stampin' Up! do the work for us. So I'm going to make sure I've got my second screen up, flick us around and get started with the card. We're only using two ink colours today. Uh, we Now my label has discoloured, so it isn't green, but we are using Crumb Cake, which is a craft colour, and we're using Seaside Spray. This colour in Australia, um, the re inkers everything has sold out in this colour, but it works too well. So I do apologise for using a product that isn't currently available, but hopefully you have a blue in your ink collection that you can use if you want to recreate this card. I have this all going here. 
pop that over in the corner so I can see everyone's comments and let's flick around. So please tell me how your, it's Tuesday, how your weekend was. Does that tell you how my weekend was? It was a bit crazy. Saturday I helped um, my friend move the final day of me um, helping move, although I've got um, some tradespeople uh, coming, grabbing her key today while she's at work. And then on Sunday, we had Anzac Day. So Anzac Day, for those who aren't in Australia, is a bit like your Veterans Day. Um, it's a celebration of the Australian and New Zealand Army Corps and remembering those who have served um, our country and specifically um, talking about the Battle of Gallipoli which is why the date is what it is. I am going to get rid of the shadows and I'll be back. So just give me a second and um, someone may come to the door during the live. So I'll have to go for a minute, give them a key and come back. Just a pre-warning. Okay, light switch off we are good to go so along with the sailing home and the ink and the paper i've also used three of the stitch rectangle dies now i normally use these nesting stitch wrangle stitched rectangle dies oh my god i can speak today but i have used these longer skinny ones and they work really well so i've used the largest the second largest and the smallest for this card so i'm going to pop these back over here i was going to put them where they belong but that's not really going to work today because i will need to grab them back out so I have all my pieces die cut, I have all these die cut, I have my card bases done. So let's just start with stamping. I think that sounds like a fantastic idea. So I've also pre-made some jigs for, sorry, separating this. I had to quickly sweep it off my desk. So I think I've got five. So we're making five cards, but they shouldn't take... Uh, I'm predicting they shouldn't take over an hour. Oh, before we start, I did just pop those there. I'll show you the paper. So this is the paper. I will, I don't know if I have every sheet because I've obviously used it. So showing you all the sides of the papers here. We have our multicolored shell. Oh, I've showed you this one. We made that beautiful uh, gold card. But this does come in a whole suite. Um, you get, yep, they're all the patterns I have to show you because I have used everything else. Hello, Beverly. Thank you for joining. Um, beautiful paper I do love it I particularly like the b-sides but that isn't unusual for me um I don't know why I just I'm a bit of a b-side fan the patterns are a bit more um aren't just themed and can be used for many many different things so let's grab my Stamparatus plate and the jig that I have made up. So we're using red rubber stamps. So I do not need my deluxe mat, but I will need to, oh, I knew that it happened. Okay. Perfect. Great. And then we have these. So what I will do, I'll just move these card fronts out of the way and we will stamp those later. And we're just going to 
Yep, that's all lined up in the corner. Basically, you can freehand stamp these. I think I did freehand stamp them, and I normally do freehand stamp for my... Um, sorry, just putting this in the right way. There is actually a right way and a wrong way. Um, I normally free stamp for my samples and then I set it up in the stamper artist. Hello, Barbara. Hello, Donna. Oh, thank you for popping in, Donna. I will catch you on the replay. Thank you for sharing, Bev. I truly appreciate it. Great to see so many of you watching me on YouTube. Love that. And if you aren't already subscribed to me on YouTube, I would love you to subscribe. I'd love you to watch some of my older videos on YouTube. So I have enough subscribers to go live on YouTube, which is awesome. I don't quite have enough watch hours um, to make some money out of all the people who want to support me on YouTube. So that's probably my next frontier on YouTube is just getting those watch hours up. Ah, uh, Barbara, is it? Well, I am happily using it. I have used it quite a bit when I was, because I shared a post of me going or have gone through all my stamp sets and a lot of cards I've made with this I used the paper it originally came out with so I did pull a lot of those cards out of my stash but the good thing is for me they then make fantastic masculine cards for my card stash so um, I like that this card that we're making today isn't necessarily masculine nor feminine so it sort of goes either way which I love. Now if your um, paper sticks like this just get something and flick it oh, and it's kind of missing a bit. Let me see that's probably gonna double stamp but that doesn't look too bad. It's fine. It's handmade. So yes, I went through my stash. So I do have some cards that I have lying around to purchase. My mum is my best card customer. Yes, I did. I did. But I'm finding using uh, the way I'm going live at the moment very useful because I can go live in three places at once. So I've got a better catch of, um, I've got a wider catch net that I can go live in one place and it multicasts to, uh, to other places at the same time. So trying to work a bit smarter and not harder as such okay this is our last lighthouse so you can see this stamping and using the stamper artist went extremely quickly and bar that one lighthouse which i think was my inking i've got perfect images every time so kelly when you're watching this you'll be happy to see me using my stamper artist Kelly's one of my beautiful team members um, who loves her Stamparatus and uses it all the time because she has some hand issues like me. So it does make it so, so, so much easier. So now I have the sentiment. Oh, the sentiment actually isn't from this stamp set. I totally forgot the sentiment, um, it's your day relax, is from the a cut above stamp set. Okay, so I've used both of these stamp sets. I do love that. David and my dad are featured in this stamp set. It is just my dad and David. I had nothing to do with designing it. Just when I saw it, I had to laugh. Um, it was a bit funny that... Um, they are featured in the set. Yes, the template is great. Hello, Jason. Long time no see. 
Um, the jig, I call it a jig, is great. So I, as I was saying before, I normally hand make the card. So I'll stamp and then die a card, um, make sure the card's okay. And when I want to do a class, I then stamp again and create... So I'll stamp normally on thick whisper white because I've got plenty of scraps of that. Stamp, use the stitch rectangles or whatever die I'm cutting with. Um, and I do normally mark the corner. I do Yes, that is correct. So I've popped this sentiment off to one side so it can tuck under here. Um, so that's normally how I do it. And then I have it for mass producing or for class. So this is the last time I'll use these jigs and they can just go in the recycling bin, basically. Um, it just makes it easier for me to pop the die cut in its little home. Let's see if I can get this home. Yep, so pop the little die cut in its home, stamp and move on. It's a little more time saving uh, for this, oh, sorry for that squeak, for this mass producing. So as I said earlier, we are going in with our seaside, let me see, with our seaside spray. Yes, it is retiring in just a few days and I'm pretty sure in most markets it is already sold out because that's what happens with our ink colours. People want to have their reinkers and all of those things um, ready to rock and roll. Sorry, I need to get my... That is right. Hmm. That's okay. This one in perfect. Hopefully this one will stamp a bit better. Don't know whether, you know, the first stamp is never the best. The second and subsequent stamps are normally better because oh, you have residual ink on your stamp. Don't know what's going on with this today. One edge is really just I'm just going to put pressure on the it's your day because the relax really wants to be bold and out there ah uh, yeah they're great so did you see that here Bev or um did you just see it elsewhere and have used it for a long time because I don't think I need to mass produce cards for a while after going through normally every annual catalog i um don't need to mass produce cards because i grab so many out of my box that's a little better it is what it is today and just two more and that's our stamp and majig stamping done and then we just have our sailboat it's not really a ship it's definitely a, a a yacht our yacht although i've never been on a yacht nor do i think i could get on or off a yacht i think that would be a video in the making if anyone would like to come with me oh that's just shocking it's okay it's going to be used it's handmade um, if anyone would like to um, take come and take that video, if one day I ever decide that getting on a yacht is a good idea, that would be good because at the Anzac Day, um, my, my parents took my eldest because um, they played in their brass band and um, they took them to the first march. And then I took them to the second march and um, getting across a bowling green, like a lawn bowls green. Do you guys have lawn bowls in the US? Because the greens are actually the gutter 
to get down to the greens is quite deep. So they had like sandbags so you could kind of step down. But me with my walker was quite funny. It was very nice. I had people helping me like get down and get up again. It was quite hilarious. But um, yeah, just a drop in the ocean, I reckon, to um, getting on a yacht pun intended there pun intended i oh, you saw it on youtube yeah i don't know how i even picked it up i may have seen it on a video somewhere like when you've been crafting for so long you are never quite sure where you pick things up so we are finished with the stamp rather's it can go over there for the moment now we need to do some assembly because I want to get these down before I stamp my boat and then my seagulls. So we are just going to do some assembly. Did anyone have any questions, anything they want to know from my recent posts? I do have a couple of little YouTube videos in my head at the moment. You may see lawn bowls cubs pop up occasionally. Well, it's very popular in Australia. Cindy, one of my girlfriends, oh, well, she was a friend um, from high school, she played competitively when we were in, I think this glue has died. I think we can sadly or happily say goodbye to that. And I have another one because I was doing gluing at karate last night so she played with her dad so her dad wasn't that old either I don't know if Tony still um plays that's the dad I know she wouldn't she actually lives in um South America very hard working school teacher there oh, everything's in the way Right, I think we're sorted now. So if anyone has any questions, I do have a couple of things coming up. As I said, I've got um, I've got a video idea for next week, something that I shared on here. Oh, I shouldn't say here. I shared on Instagram and uh, Facebook. It's a um, watercolour pencil idea. I haven't tried it, but, you know, I'm more than willing to try this idea. And I also wanted to do a little video that won't be live. It'll just be a little video about what to do when you get a new stamp set. Because there are a couple of things that you do to help... Um, to help you get a great stamped image and organising slash putting them together because stamping up have slightly changed um, the way our photopolymer stamps are put together in the box. So I also wanted to show that. Is there anything that you girls would like me to highlight coming up, especially with the new catalogue coming? Um, I will start using new catalogue products next week. I just want to show you products that you can actually purchase now. Of course, if you wanted to sign up and be a demonstrator, um, you can get those new products before they launch. irritating to get to places with the crutcher yes exactly Bev I feel the pain it was okay um the Gosford one was a bit of a trek from where you had to park to where the cenotaph is um and then the one that we did um locally a bit more north at Arimba um it it was all flat and parking was much better. It was in a recent, an RSL club, which is um, a return service league club. We have a lot of those in Australia. So they are run 
um, for the benefit of veterans. Um, yes, technique videos. Okay, what kind of techniques, Bev? Because I'm a pretty simple kind of gal, pretty simple stamper. I don't, I don't do anything too out there. I try and do effective things. I know what I'm looking for, but I can't find it. I am going to have to grab out a new sheet of dimensionals. Tearing tape is not going to be helpful right now. Sorry if you can hear David's mobile phone. It will hopefully wake him up. He didn't have a good night's sleep last night. Don't ever think he heard people come to the door earlier. Okay, so yeah, talk to me about what kind of techniques I can give it a go. But, you know, some things are a little bit more difficult than others for me. So the fiddly, fiddly things aren't my forte. Okay, so using mini dimensionals on our sentiments here because that just works better. So using three on each. So then we're nice and balanced, no saggy middles here. We don't do that. Hello, Miss Renee, how are you? Keeping an eye on my postman for you to grab your cards for uh, Tuesday's, uh, Sunday's meeting. Today's Tuesday. Don't know what I'm talking about. Renee is also on my team. Organisation videos. I think I've pretty much covered all the organisation. I can't say I have any new ways I'm doing things, it's just I'm real, like I'm not, I'm, I'm putting my new things away. So I'm just put, so I've done the new, I've done the new designer series paper that I've got. I am, I've got the specialty paper ready to go. So I've got my label maker here. Um, ready to go with all the things. Um, stamps, I, un I only have two new stamp sets so far from my pre-order. I have done all my ribbons, so I just put a pin in the end of my ribbons and they are sitting on my shelf. Um, I haven't done my dies yet, but um, yeah. Hello, Jeannie. How are you? Hello, Kathy. Right, that is those ones done. I think, oh, look, you guys will just have to watch me do some snipping, but I will need to get my, um, oh, this is really rough snipping, guys. I will need to get a whole new sheet. I dare say. So never leave your edges. They are just as useful and just a different shape to our middle pieces. So I kind of want to do the three thing here as well. So support the top and bottom and the middle. And Siri is apparently... Keys. I didn't get that. Keys back on the um, China cabinet, David. Okay, so it's one. See, I don't even have to get up. That's why I said, David, it's on the China, it's on the China cabinet. Thanks, James. Yes, please. Okay. Okay, cool. Sorry, girls. Dude just needed to converse with him. Okay. 
to oh no i'm not gonna have enough i do need to grab a whole new sheet damn but i finished a sheet of things i love the accomplishment in finishing a whole sheet of things so is that in the bin and yes these are my new sheets Prepping new stamp sets. Yep, I've already got that one going. Also, do you cut? No. So, I needed three card bases for these cards today, right? So, I'm just going to rip this. So, I ended up, I cut, I cut full sheets. I normally have some, but not a whole lot because... I just don't. Um, so at the moment, I've got a, I've got one of these card bases cut. So and two of long landscape, two or three of long landscape. Just as I'm cutting, I will often cut an extra sheet. I more so have um, card front sizes in normal whisper white, or sorry, normal basic white wash my mouth out with soap there um with normal basic white ready to go so then i can just grab and go for um stamping on white card bases other my colored card stock um if i need one card base i will keep the other and put it back in um that's something i don't generally prep as such um yeah hello linda thank you for <laughs> yes real life does happen and i did warn people earlier that that was happening aha uh -huh. where did i put those so put these back I love my favourite organising thing for small things, so like embellishments, these things, is the Stampin' Up! Medium Clear Envelopes. Now, I also put scraps. So if I have small scraps in designer series paper, they will go in one of these. So when I was bagging up my uh, retiring designer series paper, I um, did just... I'm recycling uh, those plastic bags. If you were my scissors, where would you be, guys? And I also want to tell you, when I was cutting out all these, I did use my mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. So I just had it here, cranked the, I think I needed nine pieces. I really can't find my scissors. Oh, they're right here, guys. They're right here. Right in front of me. I can't open my eyes. I'm not as blind as some in the house, but I did just have a decent moment. Okay, so I'm just going to grab my silicon mat and I'm going to put... Oh, my heat had just started again. I'm feeling a little... Ah, nice, Linda. I love that. Yes, you can't do it all in one go. Even before I had my breakfast this morning, which was a little late, um, I did have to wipe down the benches from my grots this morning. I did want to put that further down, actually. So what I do is just line this up like this, kind of make it straight. Now you can check if it's straight with a grid map. I did a pretty good job. So that is one. And then we'll attach them to the cards as one piece. So this isn't a very technique heavy card. It does have some pieces that um, do go together. I don't think I'm going to stick to my hour. But 
you know, we've been chatting. We've had a lovely time this morning. Actually, I don't think I really need that mat either. How good is my straightness this morning? I'm highly impressed. I thought I was going to make a mess putting these together, but I'm not. Yeah, exactly. That's normally my thing as well. Um, I normally can't wait, so I just do it. So I just did a rough a rough wipe down. I'll go and vacuum up because I'm too lazy. I'll go and vacuum up all the crumbs uh, later off the floor. Just a quick little two-minute vacuum job to get the crumbs. And then it all starts again when they come home from school. I think a loaf of bread was actually cut this morning, so that's where all the crumbs um, came from. So I baked the bread. And then um, in my 20-year-old, almost 20-year-old bread maker. So it's had a good life. Okay, these are coming along really quickly. So I'm really glad that I stamped this off to the side because having this piece and then this piece wouldn't have worked. Um, they would have hung right off the side. And that would not have looked pretty. Right, done. And last one. And then we're just sticking and then doing, oh no, we've got to put together our card bases. It does, Bev. That is why I love this set because this piece here is like sand. And then this is seeing a dust sky. And then this is like sand or, you know, a reflection. And, um, yeah, I just, I do love the B sides. I can't say I'm a huge fan of the A sides. I have um, played with this at my uplines. And, yeah, it's okay. The stamp set, I oh, know, it's probably just not my jam. And that's okay, not everything. We don't have to like everything in the catalogue, which is why there are so many products, because there truly is something for everyone. Okay, so I've pre-cut and scored my card bases. Now, if I can move that lid, we are now going to fold and with the bone folder. Ah, right. Yes, well, we thankfully here both work from home. So it's just our general, and I know what the kids had this morning, but I don't know what they ate this morning. I had, I took the opportunity for a titch of a sleeping this morning. Because it's midday now, although I've got a fair number of jobs done this morning, which is uh, lovely. So, not oh, I've got some stamping up jobs done this morning, and I've got some um, school. Parent committee jobs. Hello, Shirley. David, I'm on a live. I know I heard you make that mistake and subsequently curse. <laughs> How rude of him just to curse on my video. I'm not doing that bad of a job, I'll have you know. Doing quite a fine job here today, all the everyone watching's happy. Okay, that's our five card bases done. Oh, that's got muck all over it. Oh, from the stamp, uh, from the ink pad. That's okay. We're going to be covering it up anyway, so I'm going to bring all our card bases in. 
And to make life much easier for myself, I'm going to put the glue on the card. Very messy dotting today. Oh, that's okay, Shelley. There is always the replay. I may be live now, but there is always the replay to take advantage of, which I know you do often, as many of you do, because, hey, we've all got lives and can't always uh, be here live. <laughs> right. Sorry, getting cross at the piece of paper here. Making a terrible sound rather than um, cursing. Cursing is my go-to. I'm glad you guys think that David's funny. He thinks he's rather funny as well. Sometimes I question it, but, you know, we've been together for nearly 21 years. So, 21? 20. Yeah, nearly 21 years. So, I suppose I'll put up with him a bit longer. Let's take five on this card base. Oh, can't take me anywhere today. This is this one is just going to be as it is. Right. I'm just not going to talk to it. Okay, keep going. Helps if you don't have tremor as you're putting the piece of paper down and then it goes skew if. I'm really struggling today, apparently. Done. Two more. Oh, it's swearing is it? swearing is my second language as well. It's just hello, Caroline. Yes, swearing is my second language. Um, it's just you don't get that here because I don't fancy myself uh, banned from my social medias. But yes. You can only imagine the words that um, go through my head often as things don't go to plan here. Uh -huh. Yes, dotting glue is um, great. It does give me this wiggle room that I highly desire. sake like right now girls right now say all the things for me please because <sighs> okay that will oh, that's still crooked lordy do lordy do Yes, thank you, Cindy. Thank you. That's exactly what I want to be saying right now. Exactly. I don't know why sticking down these pieces of paper is so bleeding hard today. Like, truly. It's normally not this hard. <laughs> okay, this is our last piece. So I can cap back on my multi my multi-purpose glue. Oh my god! Oh, you le you learnt the dotting to Kathy. I can't learn from actually. Oh. I think it's my hands today. That's what I'm blaming. And now Jamie will be laughing so hard because my hands are literally covered in glue. They are 
like sticky. <laughs> yes, Miss Lorraine. Yes. And Lorraine and someone who knows me in real life, <laughs> you know, oh, yes, Rita. And you're here to witness that this is real life crafting. Okay, and now my Apple Watch is telling me that I need to stand up and I want to swear at it. Oh, Kelly, we were talking about you earlier. I did all my stamping that I've done so far with Stamparatus. You would be proud. Okay, next we want our dish, our little rubbish dish, and we will... So what I'm looking at here is to get equal space on either side and putting it on approximately straight. Just approximately. We're not going to go for perfection because truly this has been a bit of a comedy of errors so far. I was going fine until I started stamping the sentiment and it wanted to stamp with... Not nice like my original card. It wanted to stamp heavier on one side than the other. Oh, thank you, Kel. I'm so glad that you're very proud of me. I was proud of me. The only reason I did use the stamp artist, truth be told, is that these were class cards. So I had a jig set up. And then I had, I don't know why I had oodles of these um, card bases set um or cut so i just decided to use them all because the paper will be retiring very soon so i might as well use it so this paper in the january to june annual catalog um it will start going on while stocks last on the 4th of may that mm, i'm pretty sure that's when it'll go on while stocks last um, so then it's get it while you can. So I've been trying to use and show those products and pre-warn you, grab them while you can, because the products that are not carrying over to the annual catalog uh, will be going goodbye forever. We're having patience with me today. Hi again, Shirley. Hello, madam. How are you? Hang on, Miss Carol. <coughs> Lavin is that your YouTube name? Carol is my trip buddy. We always find ourselves on a trip, on a Stampin' Up! trip. And we always indulge on a beautiful mojito. Some mojitos have been better than others, um, but uh, we do indulge in them. We've had some lovely meals together. Had a lot of fun with that one. And she really doesn't live that far away. Not really. So we do need to catch up like at a non-stampin' up trip sometime, Miss Carol. Are you on lunch break, Carol? Kel, uh, Kel, that's what I had to ask you. Are you home now, Kel? So. Oh, sorry, girls. I'm going silent because I'm concentrating pulling these off. So, as always, if you have... Any questions now is good time to ask while I'm um no I am I've seen that I've seen you use that name before uh, while I'm not doing mega concentrating I can certainly answer your questions oh you're home lovely 
Well, obviously, I'm at home too. <laughs> Funny that this is my normal craft desk. We're not on location today. The location is the craft desk. Oh. These are just, maybe it's the new pack. I don't know. They are coming off. Maybe it's my newer nails. Nah. And I got my nails done last week. Was it last week? Yes, last Thursday. I got them done. So, you know, my nails are a little, little different every time. But my hands, we've already demonstrated them earlier that my hands aren't um, doing what they're told today. Neither are the dimensional backings. Okay, so what? Oh, no. Oh, that's okay. Oh. Nope, 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 nope. Pop, thank you. Then we are going to just stop it, would you? And obviously not any of you watching. Right. Okay. So now we are going to get out our smaller, our smaller yacht and our um, seagulls. Smaller yacht. Just to, look, these cards are pretty without it, but I think they just add a beautiful interest to the background. I am making this card that's up here. Okay, so one and a smaller block for my seagulls. Two. Okay, so I am going to stamp both on one card because that is easier. <laughs> Thanks, Bev. I never really know what I'm doing until I get there. I may have an idea, but um, she often changes my mind. Yeah, they, are, they weren't purple last time. They were more meringue. I don't always get purple, okay? I know it's our favourite colour, Carol, but it's not always the case. Now, I'm just going to stamp this off onto a scrap piece of paper off to the side. And we are going to go pop. I'm just going to hold it there for a few seconds so we get a better image. And then, helps if I'm holding the block the right way. And then these, not directly above, but above them to the, just so you kind of get that diagonal, rough diagonal line. Okay. This one, I'm just going to go in with the seagulls first because I've got that in my hand. And our stamping on this uh, designer series paper is not going to be perfect, especially with our ship or our yacht, because it is such a detailed um, set. It's not going to be perfect. But as long as it's there and you can tell it's a yacht, I'm fine with that. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah, you can't always have purple, but if you feel in the purple, I say get the purple. Nice. And our goals. Right where I had an ink smudge. Cover that up. Don't know, I reckon that ink smudge came off my nails. So this is our second last one. And just using the crumb cake, the same as the lighthouse that we stamped earlier. Leaving this here. Perfect. And our last card. And this is going to be under an hour. Because I got on at six past 
approximately six past 12 and I am I didn't start making straight away so I have made five cards in under an hour there you go and my computer is just telling me it's one o'clock so we are done um I have used different pattern paper to my original because I have made this in class so the ink colors we have used are crumb cake and seaside spray these stamp sets we have used is sailing home so we used the yacht the seagulls and the lighthouse and a cut above we used the it's your time to relax and this is a stamp set that will be um headed to the retiring pile very very soon although i may keep it because that's my dad and that's david and that's why i bought the set and because it's got a cloud in it i have a thing for clouds don't ask me what my thing for clouds is but i have a thing for clouds Okay, the die set that I used is the stitched rectangle set. And we used this layering set here. We used the largest, the second largest, and the smallest dies to create this cluster. And, of course, I did use the Stamparatus as well. So I will show you the two pattern papers that I used. So these are the three pattern papers that I've used. So I used the blue, the yellow and pink and a different version of the yellow and pink. So this one I assume when they were creating it they flick water on the ink, took it away and you get this beautiful uh, watercolour effect. So yes. If you would like to purchase any of this, um, I go through to my profile link. Yes, exactly, Carol. Simple, quick and effective. Thank you. I like the design too. Um, if you want to purchase anything, link is in my store. All these products, except for the Seaside Spray Ink, are currently available. I will be back on Thursday with my final class card from the other weekend. And it's a no stamping card. So no stamping, which is awesome. I like a good no stamping card. By using some punches. So no die cutting punches and no stamping. Have a lovely couple of days. I'll see you Thursday lunchtime again, 12 noon, Australian Eastern Standard Time. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you soon. Bye.